Hey everyone, today I did a chit chat, get ready with me, slash try out some new products, slash the simplest smoky eye you could possibly do, and it's so easy, so fast, and it's really pretty, at least I think it is, and I didn't use any false lashes, and yeah, it was super fast, so if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So first I'm going to go in with the Stila One Step Correct Primer. I'm just going to take a pump of this and put it all over my face. I've really been into color correcting right now, um, mostly because I work at Sephora and our big theme right now is color correcting. And so I've been testing out a lot of new color correcting products. And yeah, this stuff is awesome. It's really, like, I always thought it would be a really thick kind of primer. But it's really creamy and it feels so nice on your skin and it gives you a nice all over kind of even, um, it just evens out your skin tone and stuff. And next my absolute favorite foundation right now is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow and for horse shows we mix it with the Color FX Drops. I've been doing G20, I'm really like a G30 but this is just like a smidgen too dark but I just don't want to exchange it so I'm going to do that. I use, usually use about four pumps. They're like little pumps though. I didn't count that. <laughs> Whatever. And then I'll normally add two drops of the custom cover drops. And then just a little tip. Whenever I do horse shows, I don't really put foundation on my forehead. I just use what's on my face and buff it around. But whenever I do makeup videos, I just do it on my forehead because it's like normal for me. I'm not going to a horse show usually after these. And then this is my favorite foundation brush, it's the IT Cosmetics Buffing Foundation number 110. It's an all-time favorite. And then I just take a damp sponge and go over my face just to blend things out and, I don't know, absorb some excess product if there is any. This foundation is so freaking awesome. I wear it to horse shows and it lasts me all day. Even just at the barn for every day. I don't add custom cover drops, but it lasts me all day. And it fades a little bit towards the end of the day, but it doesn't get like patchy or separating. It just lasts and it kind of fades off, but it's not like gross, which is how I like foundations. If they're going to fade, I'd rather do that than get all patchy and gross. And then I've been loving the Makeup Forever HD Concealer in R22. This is like the light medium um, color correcting shade. I don't really have that much darkness, but like I said, I'm into color correcting and this is a more pink toned um, concealer. So it's going to cancel out any redness under, or darkness under your eye. Then I just use my finger and kind of pat that out a little bit. And then I take the sponge and go over it. And then to even out so that it's more of a yellow highlight under my eyes, I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me number 10 concealer. And I just do a little bit, just like I said, to even out so that I have a more yellow toned highlight instead of a pink. And that's how the Makeup Forever rep, um, they so they have reps come into the Sephora stores. And they kind of tell you about their products and how to use them. And so any of the concealer starting with the letter R are going to be more pink tone like I said to cancel out red um, darkness I keep saying that come on camera focus on me okay there we go um, anyways and so he said to put down the concealer and then go over top of it with a shade that you like and then I just immediately immediately set that with the Laura Mercier a uh, translucent powder that I literally just spilled everywhere. This is such a freaking disaster, like the cap came off. So as I was saying, I just set my under eyes with that Laura Mercier powder. Then I'm going to take the Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. It's the liquid version of the highlighters. And I've had this for forever and I go back and forth between using it or not. But I'm just going to pat this on the tops of my cheekbones. I like this because it looks a little bit more natural than um, putting a powder on. And then just use my sponge. 
And then I take the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and just set my whole face. And this powder is a very sheer, um, what's the word I'm looking for, like, hydrating powder. So it's not going to keep you mad or anything, it's just going to set your foundation so that it doesn't move. And the glow will still come through from the foundation and the highlight. So next I'm going to try out the Anastasia Brow Definer. It's in taupe. I just picked this up yesterday when I was at work because... It just seemed like a must, you know? So, let's try it. I got the color taupe because I was hoping to use this for more, like, everyday natural looking brows. Um, so let's just go for it. So, I'm not really sure how I'm feeling this yet. Just because I like to really define my brows and it's more, I feel like it's more for like if you have a lot of brow hair and just want to add to it. My vanity is a freaking wreck. I'm packing right now. I mean you guys can't see it but I have a suitcase on my bed and I'm getting ready. We're going to semifinals. You, the University of Arizona equestrian team since you guys don't know what the U of A is most likely. Okay, so brows are on. I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet, so I'm just going to keep playing with it. So this is literally, like, the easiest eye look I could possibly come up with. And I do this for, like, everyday stuff, not necessarily just to school or work, because I don't really wear eyeshadow to school or work. But if I go to, like, Sephora for work and I have no idea what I'm going to do, this is what I do. So I use two or three eyeshadows, depending, but they're always the same. So I take either a MAC 217 or a Morphe, I think it's 433, it's like the dupe for the MAC 217, and I pick up the color Tease, like a lot of it, just tap off the excess, and then I just pat this on my entire eyelid, up to the crease, but I try not to go past the crease. And then I just take a big fluffy blending brush, and I take the color Laced. By the way, the other color was called Tease. I don't know if I said that or not. And then I just blend out the crease. Sometimes I won't even use the color lace, but um, it just makes it a little bit easier to blend out. But I'm just going to go back and build up the first color a little bit and then just blend out one more time. And then I take a pencil brush and I just smoke out the bottom lash line. And then I just take my finger and I use one of two colors. I just use a sparkly color. Either Polyester Bride, which is more white, or Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. Um, today I'm feeling Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. I just pop that on the inner corner. So then really quickly, I've been loving this eyeliner. It's the Marc Jacobs Eyeliner Gel Crayon. It looks like so. But this is my favorite eyeliner. It's so bomb. And I just tight line. So that's literally it for this eye look. You could add it, the um, eyeliner to the bottom lash line too, but I don't. Um, I'm just going to hop off camera and do the other eye and then add some mascara. I've been loving the IT Cosmetics Superhero, I think it's called. Yeah, superhero mascara for my top lashes and then still my MAC extended play for my bottom. And I will be right back after I do all that. Okay, so that's what my eyes look like. Super, super fast, super easy, especially once you get the hang of it. It literally takes me like two seconds. Literally. So I'm just going to move on to my face. As always, I'm just using my Kat Von D palettes. And I'm going to try. I haven't, I've had this brush for forever, but <clears throat> never used it to contour. It's just called the powder brush. It's just big. That's brilliant. It's just big. And just taking the cool tone shade. That was actually super easy because it kind of blends it out as you're contouring. Yeah, I'm kind of going for a fierce face today. I'm just going to take a little bit of the banana in the, it's like a peachy shade. And I'm going to put that under my eyes just to help brighten even more. Not too much. T 
taking the Morphe M527, which is awesome sauce for bronzing, and the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced. Just going over all that. And a little bit up on my forehead. And I'm again just going to contour my nose a little bit with the Milk Chocolate Soleil. And I've actually been trying out with like a big fluffy eyeshadow brush. Did it yesterday and it actually worked out really well. Okay. Not my best nose contour. I can never contour my nose on camera. I don't know what it is. And next I'm just going to take a little bit of champagne pop from Becca and Jaclyn Hill. As all of you probably know by now. Right on the tops of the cheek fronge. A little bit on the tip of my nose, just because I like it. And then I'm just going to try out new blush. It's from NARS. It's the one that you get when you become VIB Rouge at Sephora. Yeah, I hit that. And it's called... Oh, jeez. Gole, Golu, Golu. It's like exclusively to Sephora and it's exclusively to VIB Rouge. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if I showed you in the pan. I love it. This is coming with me on my trip. Awesome, I love that. Kind of gives you even more of like a sun-kissed look, if you will. And lips. Lips, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do yet. You know what? Do I want to do that? I'm just going to do it because I haven't used this one yet. It's Lolita 2 by Kat Von D. And I'm just not going to even use a lip liner because I'm feeling pretty ballsy right now. And also because I'm just going to take this makeup off in about 10 minutes. So, let's try it. Whew, the pressure. That is a lot more pink than I thought it would be. Hmm. This does not go with this eye look. Let me take it off. Hold on. I'm just going to stick with my favorite right now. Which is actually in my purse. Do I want to go get it? No! Nah, let's use Lolita 1. The first Lolita. I was going to use Joseph Colors Truffle, but I use that all the time. I'm obsessed with it. It's just so good. This kind of complements this eye look, though. I don't know why this one's looking pink on camera too, but it's not. It's very cool toned. Okay, so this is the finished look. Super fast, super easy, at least for me. Um, I'm really digging this, even though... I kind of do this every day. Um, this is totally something you could wear for Western as well. I just kind of do more toned down looks for Huntsy. Just because it's more of like conservative, or at least portrayed as a more conser conservative um, style. It's like their clothes don't have bling kind of thing. So you could totally, like literally you could put this with any lip literally like any reds any purples pinks if you want um but i thought i had lipstick on my teeth but yeah i really like how it turned out i'm digging this freaking blush right now and this contour glad i used that brush so yeah i just wanted to film something really quick before we head off to semifinals in tennessee like i said so wish us luck and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys